yeah, I'm letting this one go um, at all. Let's talk about uh, um, Don Cheadle, right? So if you didn't know, um, Don Cheadle, once they offered Terren Ho Terrence Howard, and he didn't take the low ball offer, if you didn't see my video of Terrence Howard on, uh, you know, how he gave up a million dollars so they can buy and insure uh, Robert Downey Jr., uh, to trial for Iron Man when you know he was strung out and he had all this other shit going on in his career. Um, so basically, what he did was you know he put his money up, you know, buy a million dollars out of his Iron Man money so they can bond and insure him. And um, um, and basically, what happened was when he called on Robert Downey Jr. and needed his help, and they said he bailed him out of prison or something too. He bailed him out. That's what the comments said. They bailed, he bailed him out of prison and shit. And, you know, once he he did that, then, you know, once they tried to cut his money for Iron Man, um, he called Robert Downey Jr. to help him out like he helped him out. And that's what I'm telling y'all. As a man, you can't expect anybody to reciprocate that energy. Let me say that again. You can't expect anybody to do what you do for them. And a lot of these dudes get heartbroken when these women, you know, these women do this all the time. Or your homeboy, you know, I, I seen a girl post about how her baby daddy went to jail and all her home girl home, his a lot of his friends was trying to fuck her while he was in jail. Okay, excuse my language. Like I continue to say, as a man, you can't you can't expect loyalty. You can't respect people to reciprocate how you treat them. Um, you can't expect that. You know what I'm saying? Um, um uh, you can't expect that. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when you, um, when you expect people to, you know, look out like you look out for them and you look out for your boy, the nigga that was saying, get wings, and you got wings and you had no money, you know, and then, you know, when you be like, dog, I did that for you. You can't just do me for me. You know, anybody ask you to do that shit. These niggas are raised by these women, bro. They just as ungrateful and emotional as they is. So when you see and you feel like you want to go out your way to help somebody, I be wanting to help people. You see they fucked up on the side of the road or they going through something, you know, but you got to understand you help them. It's not going to be reciprocated. It's not going to be embraced. It's, it's you know, they're going to get what they want to get out of you and then be gone. You know what I'm saying? So as a man, that's why a lot of y'all grandfathers and fathers is cold blooded. You know, a lot of these dudes was nice and helped a lot of people out coming up. You know, they did. You know, but when it came, when it came, when it came for them to get help, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody want to help. They they was by themselves. So a lot of these men turn life turned these dudes cold, man. Turn these men cold. You know, it was a devastating thing when you got family members that you love. It's a devastating thing when you got uh 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 you know, um you do things, you know, um for for women. But as soon as you conditionally can't do it no more, you you physically can't do it, they getting up and divorcing and leaving you. You know, as soon as you say, ah, you know, I lost my job and this, that, and the third, they gone. They gone. And a lot of dudes, you know, that changed their life. That changed them as a human being. And that, that make you don't want to help people. No matter if they getting stumped out by the clan, you be wanting to help brothers, but you went, nah. That was me here, keep driving. And life change. People make people bad. And damn near every comic book or every, you know, fictional or non-fiction or fictional or 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 based on a true story book, people turn other people into villains. You know. You know, people turn other people into villains. And once you actually look at it from a, a real objective standpoint of view, you can't blame them. Can't blame Magneto. Can't blame the Joker. You know, you know, you can't. But I say that just to kind of circle up what happened with him and Robert Downey Jr. Now, um, um, 
So, uh, he basically, they called him in to play War Machine. Come on. They call him. So basically what happened was this. So they offered the original deal was for like uh like a few Iron Man movies at eight point five million dollars a pop, right? Eight point five million overall for I guess three Iron Man movies uh for uh for Terrence Howard. They cut that down after the first Iron Man movie to a million a movie. He was like his age was like, no, we ain't taking that cut. So in the contract, they got out the contract they had with him. Uh, fired him, and then they went to get Don Cheadle to undercut him. And like I said before, I remember I used to work at this kitchen. You know, I keep it silent. It was a real popular hotel tail chain. I used to work at this kitchen and shit, man. And um, it was like one of my last days there. They pissed me off, so I, I I walked out. And the guy that was hyping me up to walk out, he was hyping me out. Hey, you get out of here, man! And they don't respect you. The minute I walked out, he stepped in and took my hours. He stepped in, did all that pillow talking to get more hours. Motherfuckers is broke, bro. People will do that to you. They hype you up. That's what the women do to other women. Oh, girl, leave him. This, that, and the third. Then you turn around, she go find a boyfriend. Or she go fuck your nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then you looking, you sitting here looking stupid. She finessed your dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Don Cheeto, that's what they do. We don't stay on code. Oh, no, you know what? If you ain't going to pay, you know, this is an established actor. This ain't no up-and-comer. This is an established actor who was doing movies in the fucking 80s. He took a low-ball offer to undercut Terrence Howard. It's always going to be a a house nigga, man. It's always going to be a house nigga. It's always going to be that. So, black people ain't going to, people ain't going to stick together in general to get what we need. So it says that, you know, however, you know, Marvel Studios only offered to pay uh, Howard one million compensation for starring in the sequel. The actor declined and left. Woozy Woo. Thankfully, the film franchise said when he chose Don Cheeto as a solid replacement. He said Cheeto, who starred in Ocean's Eleven, Hotel Rwanda, all that type of shit. He played known as War Machine. Um, he said in a recent conversation with GQ, Cheeto admitted that Marvel only gave him two hours to ponder over a six movie contract with Iron Man 2. Cheeto says that he was one of at one of uh, one of his children's birthday party when they came and asked him to sign the deal. You know, Blase Blau cares, right? Um, so I got this other insert. I can't find it on uh, pulling up on my. I have it on my mobile. Give me a minute, and I'm gonna read you because I can't find it. Uh, and this other insert said Don Cheeto's journey in the MCU started in Iron Man Two, which he replaced Terrence Howard, who was originally supposed to play. War Machine. In the first MC movie, he earned one million, which was the amount that was offered to Terrence Crawford. He refused. I mean, Terrence Howard. That he refused because he was promised eight million for Iron Man two. Okay, for Iron Man two, he's promised eight. Then he was Iron in Iron Man three, Avengers of the Ultron, uh, Captain America, um, uh, Civil War. So we got Iron Man two, Iron Man three. And Avengers Ultron, Captain America, Infinity War, and Endgame, six movies. In every movie, his salary was around six to seven million. Although being an important part of the Avengers franchise, he was paid quite low as compared to his other co-stars. So instead of you know fucking with Terrence uh Terrence Howard and niggas stay on code and making them go get somebody that's 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 worth a million or less to do the movie, he undercut Terrence Howard. And I understand opportunities in Hollywood are slim to none. But an established actor like Don Cheeto, we're not talking about an up and comer at the time like Jonathan Majors. You know, we're not talking about, you know, some some Tubi actor or some actor that's getting his foot in his door. You got to understand that another man who is just as accomplished, you know, some people may say a better actor than Terrence Howard came and took that same low ball deal. I'm telling y'all, man, a lot of the, a lot of these a lot of these brothers, man, um, and I understand ninjas need money and all that. I can't knock them. But we ain't going to never stay on code. Don Cheadle should not accept that low ball offer. Let, let's get that right. Let's get that right. 
but it's, they always gonna find somebody else better. That's why I say you only got two hours to take the deal. And if you don't take the deal, woo 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 woo. Yep, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. You know, Don Cheeto took the low ball offer and was paid on the low end of the spectrum compared to all his other uh, people in Iron Man in, in the Avenger franchise. Crazy world. But it is what it is. So um, it's always going to be somebody to undercut you. But if we stuck together, they couldn't do us like that. If we stuck together, they cannot do us like that. Let me say it again. If we stuck together, they cannot play us like that. But we don't stick together. So, hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, um, Apple Podcasts, X. I'm literally everywhere. Check out the Patreon, check out the music entertainment playlist. Um, like I said, hit the link tree, find me everywhere. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.